Hello YouTube and all of my crafty friends out there. This is Michelle and it's Tuesday, January 12th and I have a quick share for you today. I'm going to lovingly call today Tuesday, Tutorial Tuesday. Uh, yesterday I was thinking about getting out my stamps to play along with um, Use Your Stamps Monday and I came across uh, a video share that really inspired me. Um, the YouTuber is Miss Vicki, Vicki Smith, here on YouTube. And on September 28th, Vicki had posted a, an accordion tag box that I just, um, just intrigued me. I wanted to see how she made it. Um, and set about to watching her video and her reference was Alexandra M who is Clay Guana that's C-L-A-Y-G-U-A-N-A -A. Um, here on YouTube I think the Clay Guana is her block spot but Andrea Alexandra um, did this really cool video and I want to share what I came up with so again, this is an accordion tag box, and here is what I was able to come up with. Uh, so what you end up doing, and I love watching the video, is you actually make, this is a 4x4 four four shadow box that you ultimately cover with paper. And um, I just added the pocket tags to with an accordion um, at the bottom and put the seats. So I'm just going to show you around the sides. Here's the back. So I've got it closing with um, an organza ribbon and just put the green bow here. So I've had these olive ribbons and laces and flowers with the intent of using them in a vintage junk journal. But the minute that I saw this, I really thought that they would be great on something of this nature. So what ends up happening is you undo the ribbon here. And it doesn't open all the way, but it just allows you to get to the pages and it will fold open like you see. <laughs> but each tag then has, the way that I did is there's design paper on the front and then on the back I ran them through my Sizzix journaling spot. So it would be great for maybe a prayer journal. You could put your scripture on the front and then do a prayer on the back or use them a uh, picture on the front. They're a little less than four by four. It's more like four by three and a half by four in size. But I'll just show you a couple of them. So just using some coordinating papers here and alternating the papers. And then the little tabs up top are similar to a file folder. So they start the far left and move to the right twice. So there's 12. This has 12 little pockets and I just love the way it came out so I wanted to thank Miss Vicki for sharing I think that's what's so fun is there's so many inspirational tutorials out there and you know someone creates one of their own and then inspires you to make one yourself and so I really love the way it came out Put the little feet on the bottom so I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this or give it as a gift, but I just am really pleased with the way that it came out. So anyway, that's it. Just a quick tutorial Tuesday share. I hope everyone's having a great day out there in YouTube land. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.